This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by FreshBooks.com. If you want to use an awesome free invoicing service and enter a chance to win a free birthday cake, go to FreshBooks.com. I'm not kidding. Uh, this video features a UCLA business major by the name of Alexandra Wallace. She is quite upset at the Asians in the library, so she decided to go off on a rant on YouTube. Let's check out whether or not her rant is warranted. Okay, so here at UCLA, it's finals week. So we know that I'm not the most politically correct person, so don't take this offensively. I don't mean it towards any of my friends. I mean it towards random people that I don't even know in the library. So, you guys are not the problem. The problem is, these hordes of Asian people that UCLA accepts into our school every single year, which is fine, but if you're going to come to UCLA, then use American manners. So it used to really bug me, but it doesn't bother me anymore. The fact that all the Asian people that live in all the apartments around me, their moms and their brothers and their sisters and their grandmas and their grandpas and their cousins and everybody that they know that they brought along from Asia with them comes here on the weekends to do their laundry buy their groceries, and cook their food for the week. It's seriously without fail. You will always see old Asian people running around this apartment complex every weekend. That's what they do. They don't teach their kids to fend for themselves. You know what they don't also teach them is their manners, which brings me to my next point. Hi. In America, we do not talk on our cell phones in the library. Where Every five minutes, I will be, okay, not five minutes, say like 15 minutes. I'll be like deep into my studying, into my political science theories and arguments and all that stuff, getting it all down, like typing away furiously, blah, blah, blah. I doubt it. And then all of a sudden, when I'm about to like reach an epiphany, over here from somewhere, oh, ching chong ling long ting tong, oh, are you freaking kidding me? In the middle of finals week. So being the polite, nice American girl that my mama raised me to be, I kind of just gave him what anybody else would do, that kind of like, you know, it's got its library, like we're trying to study, thanks. And then it's the same thing five minutes later, but it's somebody else, you know. I swear they're going through their whole families just checking on everybody from the tsunami thing. I mean, I know, okay, that sounds horrible, like I feel bad for all people affected by the tsunami, but if you're going to go call your address book, like, you might as well go outside because if something is wrong, you might really freak out if you're in the library and everybody's quiet. Like, you seriously should go outside if you're going to do that. So, thanks for listening. That was my rant. I just, even if you're not Asian, you really shouldn't be on your cell phone in the library. But it, I've just never seen that happen before. So, thank you for listening and have a nice day. How did this that girl was... get accepted to UCLA? I do not understand. Like, sometimes they have, like, their family members come to the apartment complex. Like, over the weekend, the families, like, visit the college students. It, like, doesn't make any sense. And all of a sudden, they're cooking and walking around, and I just don't understand it. And then they call their family to check on the tsunami victims. Who does that? Do it somewhere else. I don't want to listen to that. Oh, my God. Okay. No, no, no. That was awesome, <laughs> okay? Because the entire irony of this has escaped her. She says that she has good manners, and the problem with these Asians is that they don't have any manners, and that she was raised by her mom to be a polite American girl. <laughs> While she's doing a video attacking all Asians and saying things like, uh, I guess if you're going to check on that tsunami thing, uh, yeah, okay, but, like, do it outside. Yeah. Is that correct manners to be like oh whatever on the tsunami thing is it correct manners to do a video where you disrespect an entire culture and an entire ethnicity <laughs> how is that in any way polite yes right? and then second of all anna you couldn't be more right jesus lord mercy how did she get into college let alone ucla she says like uh i'm not uh, you know most people know i'm not super politically correct but don't take this offensively <laughs> no, no. 
And she's wearing that outfit, and she's like, okay, I want you to take me really seriously, okay? I have very important racist things to say. And she's like, you know, I guess, you know, it's possible that it could be non-Asians talking on their cell phone in the library, even though I've never seen that. Really? You've never seen non-Asians ever be impolite? Only Asians are impolite? And all Asians, whether they grew up here or grew up somewhere else? And then she goes over the top with the Asian imitation? How can that she, how can she not realize what a disaster that video was? Yeah, you know, it's I, when I was watching that video, I thought to myself, maybe it was just a massive lapse of judgment. But no, she, you're totally right. She completely goes over the top. She n not only just makes a blanket statements about all of the Asians in the in UCLA. She, you know, she goes over the top by doing the you know imitation of their language. It's she's just horrible. And she, you know, the way she starts the video is disastrous too. She's like, I want to talk about the hordes of Asians that get accepted into UCLA, which is fine. No, it sounds like someone's well, I, player hating, okay? <laughs> you know why no, no, you know no, no, why no. hordes of Asians get accepted to UCLA? Because they're freaking bright and hardworking, okay? And they don't make retarded I'm sorry. They don't make videos like that on YouTube that make them look like complete idiots. You look like a complete idiot in that video. No, no. The other thing that bothered me about that actually is a sense of entitlement she has, like we let you into our university, which is fine. Right. In her infinite mercy, she says it's fine. No, but that's what you're getting. It's not your university. It's like she has a sense of like, of course, like rich white blonde girls with big boobies that does do this in videos uh, own UCLA and, you know, can and have access to all the universities. But we have let the Asian hordes in. Are we not merciful? Which is fine. No, we're all, which is fine. And she says, look, uh, I used to talk about this thing, you know, how they bring their family and, you know, how dare they bring their family. They're close. Their families are close. It's crazy. It's terrible. She says, it doesn't bother me anymore. Really? If it doesn't bother you anymore, why'd you do a whole video on it? But, but my favorite part was when she's describing how into her studies she was in the library. Oh, I know. Like when I'm deep into my, when I'm deep into my studies and I'm thinking of like political science or something, and I'm just about to have an epiphany. And when she said that, I thought doubt it yeah, yeah me too i actually did say that during the video i love that she's like i'm really hard into my studies and i'm reading my book and you know i'm really really thinking and analyzing what i'm reading and then i'm about to have an epiphany and then all of a sudden someone picks up the phone and then she does the impersonation it's terrible she's terrible i don't know how she got accepted into ucla the most challenging part about running a small business is dealing with the numbers and the invoices but thankfully there's a new service out there called fresh books that makes it super fast and easy to file an invoice, it sends an email straight over to your client, and it notifies you as soon as your client reads the invoice, and your client easily pays you using PayPal or 11 other payment gateways. If you sign up for the free service and you tell them that you've heard about the service through the Young Turks, you enter the chance to win a free birthday cake, and it'll be delicious. So go to FreshBooks.com, check out the service if you have a small business. I guarantee you guys are going to love it.